Now we're going to change lenses. The process is the same between the 7D and the T2i. First thing, you're going to want to press the button on the left side of the camera, underneath where it says EO7D. This will release the lens. You can now turn the lens counterclockwise until it's free of the mount and can come out. In order to put a lens on, you're going to want to line up the red dot with the red dot on the camera and then turn clockwise until it clicks. Now your lens is on the camera. This is the case that you'll receive your 7-inch Lilliput monitor in. Inside of it, you'll find the power cord, two batteries, the battery plate, the monitor itself. Underneath the monitor, you'll find the mini to normal HDMI cable, battery charger, and the mount to mount the monitor onto the camera. All right, so first things first. We're going to have to screw the mount into the bottom of the Lilliput monitor in order to mount it on top of the camera. So go ahead and do that. Now that you have the mount in the bottom of the monitor, you can now attach it to the camera. Slide the bottom plate of the mount into the hot shoe on the 7D. Screw the little wheel to tighten it. Now your monitor is attached to your camera. Now we're going to attach the battery to the monitor. Now there's any number of ways that you can hook the battery plate up to the monitor and any number of positions you can put it in. I personally like to slide the little bracket here in between the rail and cheese plate on the 7D. You slide it in there making sure that you're not touching the lens. Now you can put the battery on, and then once you have the battery on, you want to take your power cord and go from the top of the battery plate to the back right hand side of the monitor. Now your monitor has power. Now we're going to hook the 7D up directly to the monitor. First. Plug in the mini end of the HDMI cable into the left side of the 7D. Then, plug the normal end of the HDMI cable into the back of the monitor. In order to hook up your 7D to a second director's monitor, you have to use an HDMI splitter. I start by plugging in the mini end of the HDMI cable to the 7D and wrapping it around the riser to tether it. Now you're going to want to unplug what you just plugged in. Plug the normal end to the HDMI in port and then take your 1.5 foot HDMI cable and plug it into one of the HDMI out ports. This one should go to the monitor on top of the camera. Now that you have those both plugged in, plug in your director's monitor. HDMI cord. You're going to want to tether this cord. I personally like to use the little Velcro tie around it. Now that you're all hooked up, you're going to want to turn on your camera. Now you can plug the mini HDMI end into your camera. The reason we plug the mini HDMI in last is because 
the HDMI splitter runs on power from the HDMI cord. So, if you try to start up the camera with it all hooked up, the 7D battery does not have enough power to support it all and locks up. So always plug in the mini HDMI part of the cable into the camera last after you have everything hooked up. If your camera does lock up an error, pop out the battery and then put it back in.